Hey the YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to, to another video. This video is kind of cool because it's going to be the first ever parts installation video on the MT-07 here. If you haven't watched my last video, which was me revealing this bike, go ahead and watch that. I'll uh, put it in the card up there, but today's video is not going to be a riding one, unfortunately, but it's going to be just as cool. All right, what we got here is a couple frame sliders from TST Industries. And then over here from TST Industries, we got uh, rear axle sliders that actually that are also kind of like spools too, and then a front axle slider. We'll do those in a little bit, but right now we'll start off with the frame sliders. So it comes in this box, you get a sticker and instructions. Right here is the frame slider itself. Then you got a new bolt, then you got the sleeve, and this mounting portion right here. You also get some end caps. They send you black ones by default, but I also got some red ones to kind of, to kind of sort of match this right here, kind of. It's kind of close. I mean, I figured I'd add a little bit more red to it. <laughs> but yeah, in case you're wondering, this is how it's supposed to look like. So you got your polymer part, the actual slider itself, then you got your bolt, you put the sleeve in like this with this part towards the head of the bolt put that in through here and then this part right here just goes on like that so this part right here fills fills that little gap that little gap in there and then it essentially goes goes in like this what you're gonna need is a 17 mil socket to take this nut this bolt out and then a 19 for this one and then once it's all installed, you torque it down to 55 Newton meters or 41 foot pounds, I believe. But yeah, let's get to this. <clears throat> this. By the way, I suggest you do one side at a time because these bolts are what's holding the engine in the actual frame. So, if you took out both of these bolts at the same time, the engine will fall, and now you're gonna have to like realign the engine with the frame and all that. But here's the OEM bolt. And now here is the frame slider. All right guys, so a little bit of an inconvenience. So the torque wrench I have is a half inch. I could have sworn I had a 3 eighths somewhere around here, but I guess I don't, which is news to me because I thought I had one. Um, I do have a half inch 19 millimeter socket. It's an impact though, but it doesn't, it's too thick. It, it won't fit in this hole. On top of that, I don't have any uh, size adapters, which I, again, I thought I did have some, but I guess not. So we're gonna have to do the good old German torque specs here which is good and tight. Oh, I'm gonna improvise with this right here. Okay. Now, when I get around to it, probably tomorrow, cause I don't know if I'll be riding this weekend because rain and stuff is coming in from Florida up here. Um, I'm gonna get the necessary tools to make sure that this is actually torqued down, all that. But yeah, this one is technically on. I'm gonna do the other side, but I'm not gonna record it because it's the same process. So other than that, we will move on to the front axle sliders. Uh, actually, I almost forgot. Time to slap on these end caps, actually. There we go. There, that looks good. All right guys, so for the front axle sliders, um, so when I received this, it was already put together, but I figured I'd take it apart to show y'all. So this right here is when you're looking at the bike, that, get, that goes through the actual axle. Uh, that You could switch that around either way. These protect the, the actual sliders themselves, the pucks, they are, Universal, you could put them on either side, but this is where it's side specific. So this spacer right here needs to go on the brake side. 
because it has this little uh, indent in here. And that goes over the nut right here. Now on the other side, it has a really, really small indent, like a chamfer basically. And that's to pretty much clear this part right here, just to, right, like that basically. Just go right in like that. Now the two bolts that I come with, it's size specific too. So the shorter one is going on the brake side, while this longer one is going on the clutch side. And then you're gonna need to, at least two six mil hex keys for these bolts, all right? Now, they say you gotta torque them down to 12 Newton meters, but like I said earlier, I don't have a torque wrench that, at least not a small one. So, we're just gonna make it good and tight. Just FYI, the, this thing won't fit in from the, won't fit in from the clutch side. It will only fit in from the brake side. So, we gotta do this side first. All right, there we go. Screw this on, it doesn't matter which way you, you do it. Then next you get this side, and the bolt is long this way so that we could actually reach it. And now at this point, pretty much use both Allen keys to tighten this. Good and tight. Another thing that they include in this are a couple of reflective rings that go inside here. You have your choice of silver, or I guess white, and then red. I'm gonna go with the red. That's a little small little touch to add to the form, you know? To add to the look, so that way it's not completely boring. Uh, it's also reflective, so that way it kind of adds a little safety in that regard too. Okay, now there's that. I'm gonna do the other side. And then we're gonna go to the rear axle sliders. So for the rear axle slider slash spool, you're gonna need two five millimeter Allen keys. The main difference between both sides, one of the sliders has a really deep inset right here. That goes over the axle nut, which is on this side. So it has an indent too, but it's very, very shallow. And that goes over this small little part right here. Now I just need to unscrew them and slide them in. Forgot to mention, this does go in one way too. Just like the front axle, it goes in from the right side or brake side if you're talking about the front. So I, I'm gonna leave this one on, this shallow chamfered one, and then boom, like that. This side is a longer bolt, so it'll just go in like that. There we go. Make sure the threads catch. I think these also have a torque setting, but I can't remember off the top of my head right now, so I'll just put it on the screen. And them both down at the same time. Okay, there we go. All right. All right, guys, there you have it. Axle sliders front and rear, and frame sliders on the MT-07. In case I forgot to mention it, um, these are TST Industries um, sliders. I got it off their website. It showed up pretty pretty quickly. Luckily I was able to order them before Hurricane Ian made landfall. Right now TSC Industries, because they're located in Central in Florida, they might be having a hard time getting stuff out. So just be mindful of that at the time of this recording. This is the weekend after all that. And shouts out to them, shouts out to Florida, you know, prayers, thoughts, all that stuff. Bike is now kind of protected. Plus they kind of look nice. The rear sliders are kind of cool because they act like spools too for um, my motorcycle stand. I got a few other things I want to put on this bike this weekend. Uh, th that video will probably be next week. Um, I'm also gonna, in the near future, sometime in the future, get more TST industry stuff for this bike. Specifically a fender eliminator kit. All right guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked the video, you found it informative, if the instructions were good enough, I guess, <laughs> throw me a like, uh, throw in a comment if you want. If you wanna follow me on the journey, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. And other than that, I'll see you all next time. Peace.